Toy Collector here. Today we're going to take a look at uh, the new Mattel Walmart exclusive Batman The Dark Knight Returns 30th Anniversary figures. Uh, there's three figures in this set. Um, obviously, as you see, we, we have here Batman. We have uh, one of the sons of Batman. And we have Superman. All right, these are Walmart exclusives. Uh, let's see, I will turn these around so you guys could take a little look at them. First, I will do it like this. And we'll look at that like there, all right? Um, so we have Batman and Superman. And uh, the, they're based off of, these figures are based off off of the Frank Miller drawings of uh, Batman The Dark Knight Returns, all right? I can't believe it's been 30 years, uh, and it's the 30th anniversary. Um, I'm 33, so I was only three years old when this came out. Um, but uh, looking at this, all right, uh, I'm not too much of a fan of the way Frank Miller drew Batman uh, Superman is okay, uh, but Batman, the bulkier uh, body style that, that he drew him as, I just was never really a huge fan of it. Um, I did pick this figure up. Uh, this figure is basically, um, for majority of the body, off the same buck as the Maddie Collector um, Batman that they released not too long ago. Um, it was on the Unlimited line, I believe it was. Uh, now, that one was the darker colored with the gray and black. This is the blue and gray and yellow, uh, more of the classic colors, all right? Uh, this does have a new head sculpt from what I'm able to tell. Uh, the other one um, looked a little bit more like the package here, all right? And it looks like Superman, for the for the most part, shares the same the same buck as Batman, uh, at least the upper torso part. All right. So the packaging of this is Mattel's new DC Comics multiverse uh, packaging, which we've seen with Arrow and Flash, Joker, and the Dawn of Justice figures. Uh, it's a window box style, the red window box. It's got the illustration down here on the bottom. Uh, Batman: The Dark Knight Returns, Batman and 30th anniversary edition so these are all three of these are the 30th anniversary edition figures all right um and you can see exactly what you get in the package um he only comes with one accessory batman comes with one accessory looks like it comes with the arrow which green arrow gave um batman to defeat superman all right and the back of the box let's turn that around now these don't come with any build a figures unlike the other uh, multiverse figures that we've seen recently, all right? So on the back of the box here, we have all three figures, Batman, Superman, and uh, the gang members, the son of Batman, all right? The sons of Batman, I should say, all right? And got a picture of both right there. So we're going to rotate these, and we're going to take a look at one of the sons of Batman, all right? Now, the one thing that I can't get is the sons of Batman, it's uh, like a gang from the uh, graphic novel, all right? And there were uh, multiple uh, characters, or, you know, there was there was a lot of them. It was it was a whole bunch. And Batman took them under, under their wing later in the comic. Um, now, this is an army building figure and this figure is only packaged one to a case why wouldn't we have several of these figures in each case that's my my complaint here um i did hear that these are packaged one to every other case as far as that goes i'm not 100 percent sure um i have no confirmation on that but I can confirm that they are packaged one per case. Uh, I think the the breakdown of the cases goes one, two, three. Uh, there's six in a case. So it's one, two, and three. Um, I would have liked to see a few more of the Sons of Batman packaged per case. 
uh, it would make it not so hard for people to track down. And if you wanted to, you know, build your Frank Miller uh, Dio with uh, multiple Sons of Batman, you could do that. Um, but unfortunately, one per case, and uh, that's just pretty much how it goes. All right, now, taking a look at this in the package, uh, this buck right here looks like it's the um, Guy Gardner Green Lantern. Um, from the old DC Universe line, all right? Right off the bat, as soon as I saw it, the jacket, uh, the upper torso, I knew that's what it was. Um, the face, I'm not sure if that's a, a new sculpt, um, if they just took the hair off of a sculpt or whatever. Um, but the upper body, I know for sure, is uh, Guy Garner. Um, and he comes with two accessories. So same window, window packaging, we can see what we got in there. We've already seen the illustration on the side, illustration down at the bottom, same type of boxes as Batman Superman. And on the back here, got a picture of him and the other two figures, all right? So, have you guys seen these in stores yet? Um, I only came across them two times, I think, two or three times, uh, but I was able to grab all the ones that I wanted. Uh, which, I mean, is three of them. <laughs> so uh, let's open this up and take a look at these figures. All right, so here's Batman and Superman uh, and the son of Batman out the package. Uh, you can see the height and all the figures. Um, the son of Batman is just a tad bit smaller than the other two, uh, mostly because he has no cow or uh, hair piece like Superman. Um, but all the figures are approximately about six and a half inches, uh, give, give or take a little, all right? So <laughs> they all come with their accessories. Superman with his arrow here, um, it's a little flexible. Batman in his hand, he has a battering, which is also a little, a little flexible. And the son of Batman has a torch and a shotgun. All right. <clears throat> so let's take a look at each of these and uh, see how they measure up. All right. So here's Batman. Uh, as I said, he has one accessory. Uh, let's take a look at him up close. The paint on this figure is pretty basic. Uh, it's not really blotchy or anything like that. Um, pretty smooth. The face sculpt, I believe the face sculpt is a new face sculpt. I'm not 100% sure, but I do believe this is a new uh, head sculpt on this this figure. Um, he has he comes with his cape. It's a, a molded cape. I could have uh, probably gone with a, a cloth cape. I think that would have probably been a little bit better. But the molded cape probably helps with um, some posability, giving him a little. Uh, a little uh, gliding look and probably some poses just kind of you could just prop them up like that and he looks pretty good all right now as far as articulation let's put that hand down um we probably could use a little extra black wash on on the body it would probably make a lot of the detail pop a little bit more um as i said i'm not a huge fan of Frank Miller's bulky style, uh, especially with the Batman. Uh, Superman, I'm, I'm kind of okay with it. Uh, Batman, at times, it kind of makes him look like uh, a little fatter, but like he's like jacked, but fat at the same time, if that makes sense, all right? <clears throat> so, articulation, we can get the arms. Let's see, there we go. Get the arms right up, about so. All right, pull it in, straight up over the head, pretty good. Uh, we have a, a bicep swivel, all right, and we have a single jointed elbow, all right. And as far as the articulation on the wrist, you can get a full spin on that. Um, you can't really bring it up and down, but you could spin it around. We do have an ab crunch on Batman right here, ab crunch, and we can turn them side to side. So articulation is good there. The head, side to side, up and down, pretty pretty good amount. 
All right, now we do have the utility belt here. Let's see, is that kind of uh, sculpted on, kind of glued on, I believe so. The utility belt's pretty cool. They did a good job with that. The trunks here. Now the trunks are fitted over uh, these are molded on over actually if you if you touch them you could you kind of see as I touch here it kind of flexes a little bit all right so we do have a, a little extra room with the trunks the trunks are um, molded or glued onto the actual body all right they're not just painted and if you look right here you can kind of see up the seam on the side now we can get a full split pretty good kick forward He's kicking in the door. We have no upper uh, thigh cut on Batman. We do have single single uh, knees, single jointed knees. Uh, the boot does have a cut though. All right, so you can a little articulation right there. You could turn his foot out to the side, inside, outside, and slight articulation with the uh, with the ankle here up and down not side to side and rotating it though all right so overall uh, the Batman's not bad um, he is off of a previously used buck um, for Matty collector I do not have that Batman uh, I wasn't really much of a fan of it I uh, this Batman, I'm not totally in favor of, but he's not bad. Uh, I do wish there was a little bit more to the symbol on his chest. It just looks very bland. Nonetheless, uh, there's no bleeding through of the gray or anything like that. It is pretty solid uh, as far as the symbol goes, so I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, a buddy of mine actually has this figure, and he was going to do... A little touch of paint job on it so I kind of can't wait to see how it looks when he's finished maybe I'll be able to take a few pictures and show you guys all right so um, and also I do believe that the the upper body and even some of the legs I believe is used off of some of the Maddie collector or uh, which is Mattel obviously um, masters of the universe figures not 100 percent sure but i do believe that i did read that somewhere before um because they're bulkier cut uh so it might be i have to check into that all right so here's batman let's uh take a look at superman all right so here we have uh superman i do like the bulkiness of superman uh i'm not in favor of the Batman bulk, but the Superman bulk doesn't look bad, all right? Uh, they didn't really play much with the costume. This is the classic uh, style-looking Superman. Uh, obviously, it's 30 years ago, so that was the style back then, all right? Uh, now, let's take a look at this figure. One thing right off the bat that got me about him, let's turn him to the side here. Can you guys see where it looks like the famous Superman curl was kind of glued onto the front? Right here. It looks like the Superman curl was just glued there. That kind of gets me about this figure. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a new head sculpt or not. Um, I do like the overall head sculpt, the chiseled jaw and everything. Even the hair, but the fact that you can see the crease, uh, the line right here in the hair, that kind of gets me. And also, the paint job on, on my Superman is, is really blotchy around the face. You see the paint smears right here. Not so much on this side, but definitely on this side you see that there, up around the ears and everything. And then just the hair, it's like it gets to me right here. Like you, like you can rip that off like it's a Donald Trump toupee or something, all right? <laughs> um, the other thing about Superman that I don't like, all right, you can kind of see it in the video here. Um, the chest is a solid blue, all right? Uh, solid blue under the symbol here, all right? There's no bleeding through the paint. The arms, 
Now, if you look at the arms and the legs, it looks like there's some bleeding through of the paint. Um, I don't know if they tried to add uh, like a blue or um, I'm sorry, not a blue, but like a purplish or blackish wash to the figure. Um, but you can you can clearly see underneath and it just kind of drives me nuts. Even here on the legs, you can kind of see it slightly different tone than the uh, than the upper body. All right, now the upper body is pretty much the same as what we saw for Batman. All right, let's, you can look at that and see pretty much the same uh, basic upper body. Different hands than Batman, obviously, because the gloves are the little gauntlets. So these are different hands. Um, the waist, or the crotch actually, with the um, the shorts, these are different because clearly Batman has a utility belt and Superman just kind of has a belt for his trunks. Um, <clears throat> one thing that I did notice is that the higher you possibly kick like Superman's leg up, the more the trunks kind of hinder that articulation there. All right, same thing with Batman. The trunks are molded on over the actual body. If you look under here, you can see that. Um, more so at the bottom than the top. And then as you go down, the boots are different than Batman's, uh, so it's molded slightly different. One thing I would have liked to see, uh, same thing with Batman, a cloth cape. I, I definitely would have liked to see a cloth cape on him. Uh, this is a molded cape. Which, again, I could see how it, when you're posing him, uh, it kind of would help for certain stances if he's falling back or, you know, um, whatever you might be able to do with him. But I prefer, I would have preferred a, uh, a cloth cape on him. Now, he also comes with uh, an arrow, which Green Arrow gave to Batman to defeat Superman. And it's got a kryptonite tip on it. Kind of looks like a kryptonite corn dog on an arrow. Just my thought. <laughs> so here's the Man of Steel. Same articulation as Batman. Arms and everything. Uh, the wrists. You could spin them. You can't really up and down them. All right. Uh, ab crunch. Full articulation on the head. Actually better than Batman. And uh, the legs. Same articulation. And even... Uh, Right here in the calf. It has pretty good uh, articulation. Alright. So. I do like Superman. Um, not totally against Batman. Um, but I, I do like the bulk. On this Superman. Just that hair. The hair is definitely getting to me right up in here. Alright. So let's take a look at our final figure. The son of Batman. All right, so here we have our Son of Batman. All right, comes with two accessories. Comes with a flaming torch here, which uh, the plastic is kind of, uh, it, all the plastic, um, all the accessories are very uh, bendable, I, sh I, I could say. And he comes with a shotgun. Did a good job on the shotgun. It's not bad. Old school style shotgun here. The face sculpt, if you look at it kind of uh, kind of quick, kind of looks like Ryan Reynolds a little bit. A little bit. All right, so we have, uh, he's got his little Batman uh, symbol painted across his face. It would have been nice to, to make this figure into the army building figure. Uh, and come with, you know, say three of them per case. Um, I'm not understanding why the distribution would only do one per case. Maybe they're going to do other figures down the line. Maybe do Robin or uh, Green Arrow. And then they'll add uh, this figure as like a fill-in for the case. Maybe. Who knows? 
All right, now this figure definitely looks like it's got the same uh, the same buck as uh, Guy Garner. You look at the jacket here. And down to the legs, these are the DC Universe uh, type of legs and uh, crotch, right, like right up in here in the crotch there. Um, that we would see for the older DC uh, classic. Actually, not even that much older. Um, I was looking at <coughs> uh, my Hal Jordan Green Lantern, and that's exactly how his are. All right, which I mean, it's not bad because it does enable for some good uh, posing, like so. So I'm not going to complain about that. All right. Uh, so here we have our son of Batman, bulkier in the top with the jacket, little pop collar. Uh, the head articulation, not bad. The arms, up to the side, straight up. Due to his massive biceps, the articulation with the arm is only about so. Side to side, there is no ab crunch due to the jacket, all right? Um, and full articulation with the legs. You do a full split. Uh, he does not have an upper thigh cut, but he has a lower thigh cut right below the quads here. And a single knee joint. Um, no cut in the, in the boots like Superman and Batman. Uh, and he does have slight articulation in the ankles. So overall, I do like this figure. Uh, even reusing the buck that they did was wasn't that bad. Um, it kind of goes with the figure, so can't really complain much with it. And the other figures, Superman, Batman. Uh, <clears throat> I like Superman. I'm wondering if we'll see Robin add it to this line. Batman's not bad. I'm just for for what Batman is, what this graphic novel was. Um, the figures, even though they're reused bucks, it's really not not that bad. The figures overall are pretty decent um, for a slap together wave, uh, from what I can tell. All right, <clears throat> so here we have our 30th anniversary, um, the Dark Knight Returns. Figures, Walmart exclusive, all right? Superman, son of Batman, and Batman. Will we see more? I'm not sure. Will we see Robin? It would be nice to see uh, this Robin added to the line by Mattel, or even Green Arrow, um, or more of these figures if they redo the cases. So only time will tell. Toy Fair is right around the corner. Uh, nonetheless, these are pretty decent. Uh, price tags are about $19.99 in stores. Um, I haven't seen them online yet. So thank you for checking me out, guys. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, The Ultimate Toy Collector. And uh, like the video, share it, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about these figures. Let me know what you think about the reused buck on these figures. And um, what would you like to see? Would you like to see other figures from this graphic novel, add it to the line. All right. So until next time, guys, happy hunting.